Hi, we continue our coverage of Indo-Pacific 2025 in Sydney, Australia. We are now with local shipbuilder Hostel, who unveiled during the event the Vantage. It is a new family of uh, optionally crewed surface vessel. It's a concept and uh, to find out all about it, we are meeting with uh, Fergus Hudson. He's a naval architect at uh, Hostel. Fergus, good afternoon. Great to meet you. Yeah, good afternoon, Xavier. So, uh, what can you tell us about the Vantage uh, concept? Why did Hostel came up with that concept? Well, um, I think we're all aware of uh, the pressures that the Indo-Pacific region's under at the moment, and uh, it's also public knowledge that the Australian Navy uh, finds it difficult to uh, increase the number of people they have working for them. So, we came up with these uh, vessels here. They're optionally crewed. Um, they can operate with crew on board, uh, remote controlled, or autonomously. What kind of uh, missions uh, can they fulfill? I see they have a large deck space for mission modules. So what are some of the mission sets you can share with us? Yeah, so modular payloads. Uh, we actually developed these from scratch based on some realistic missions and operational scenarios that the Australian Navy uses. Um, and from those, we developed the functional requirements that vessels would need. And from those, we extracted the technical specifications that led to these boats here. Um, and so we explored quite a few different missions and scenarios, uh, such as um, ASW, mine laying, VLS, containers to accompany uh, surface combatants, uh, drone escorts, all sorts of uh, scenarios like that. Uh, behind you, there's a smaller variant of uh, Vantage, so uh, this design is uh, scalable depending on customer requirement. Yeah, so what we've done is we, we've shown two points on a scale here, um, but yes, it could be scaled to any, anywhere on that uh, spectrum. And uh, what is the maturity of that concept at the moment? Uh, it's just a concept at the moment. Uh, it hasn't been built. We're, we've brought it here to, to gauge uh, the interest in it and see whether um, there's enough interest there for us to push forward and build a prototype or something like that. Uh, Fergus, what else stands out with this design in terms of uh, performance figures? Uh, well, Xavier, it has a 25 knot top speed, uh, a 12 knot cruise speed, uh, and a 6,000 nautical mile range at 12 knots. So that, that range uh, appears pretty significant. Was that like is that a key driver for this type of design? Yes, we feel that's important. This is this is deliberately designed to be a, a transoceanic vessel. Um, it's designed to be able to accompany a frigate or or a destroyer on long range trips across oceans. So. It has the performance to match that. All right, Fergus, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're now with Luke Bermont Barrett, R&D engineer at Hostel, uh, to find out about the Arrow solution. Luke, uh, good afternoon, great to meet you. Xavier, great to have you on the stand. Thank you very much. So, uh, Hostel, in addition to Vantage, uh, unveiled Arrows uh, during this uh, event. How does it relate to Vantage? All right, so uh, on the stand today, um, we launched the Aros product line. So that included an approval in principle from DMV for our Aros controller, as well as uh, our Aros console here we have on display. So this is the capability we envisage being required for the operation of uncrewed and autonomous assets, such as the LOSV and the concepts we presented here, the Vantage 55 and 25. And uh, during the event, you are uh, showcasing, demonstrating a scenario. So can you run it, run us through it, please? Yes, that's correct. All right, so as you can imagine, that this console could be situated on board a patrol vessel, for instance, in the northern approaches of Australia. It's a large operational area, and in order to manage this environment, the crew would be equipped with the capability to remotely operate and manage uh, autonomous assets and uncrewed assets to cover that area. So today, we have under our command the Vantage Class 55, the LOSV concept from Hostel, along with an uncrewed rib payload trailing behind. During this autonomous patrol, we've detected a suspicious vessel here, potentially engaging in some subsea activity. And what we're going to do is directly pilot this USV payload to get a closer look at that suspicious asset. 
So we've got a shallow body of water directly to our east, so the LOSV is going to transit around that while our USV goes directly to the target. Now what we have here is the navigational autonomy system, so that's provided by Green Room Robotics and that product's called Gamma, so that's essentially driving the boat. And we have Marine Link Prime, which is Austal's in, um, internal monitoring and control system, so that's allowing the crew to remotely administer engineering functions for both of those assets, for multiple assets. And what's sitting between the two of them is the ARIS controller. So what that does is it interfaces navigational autonomy with engineering systems, it verifies vessel system states against the autonomy requests and essentially ensures that it's compliant control, you're working within the parameters of the vessel and you have a safe outcome in the end. So now that we've got our eyes on this target vessel, we're able to quickly flick back to autonomous mode and that's gonna bring our USV payload directly back to our LOSV asset. Very well, Luke, thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you very much. Oh.